Hello everybody and welcome to the fourth episode in my Excel Weekly Hack series. Uh, in this series I've got another new free hacks. Uh, I've got one which is how to identify duplicates uh, very quickly. I've got another one which is double click format painter and then finally what a VBA one which is application.visible. Uh, all quite very useful uh, and the last one in particular very powerful. So our first hack of the week is identifying duplicates. Uh, and there's a way that I use to do this, which is very quick uh, and simple. Uh, some of you might be wondering why you use this, because there is a, in your data ribbon, uh, there is a remove duplicates button, uh, but that only deletes duplicates. It doesn't identify them for you. Um, that's sometimes something that you want to be able to do. Uh, also in older versions of Excel, this remove duplicates button doesn't exist. So the way I always use to do this is go equals count if and then select the column I want to do it on and then select the cell next to the one in and make sure you're doing it in the column uh, that's adjacent vertically to the column you're doing and then just drop this column down like this and uh, name it something like duplicates. I'm then just going to copy and paste special values over here uh, just because I don't like having formulas in a sheet when I'm sorting it because sometimes it can mess it up. Uh, and then I'm going to sort Z to A. And what this is going to do is it's just going to highlight for me those rows that have duplicates available for them. Uh, it's also going to tell me how many duplicates there are. So you see in this data set I have three 47s and two 16s. So I can now highlight these if I want to, these particular rows, uh, or I can delete them if I want to, or I can highlight them as duplicates or whatever. I then can happily get rid of this one column as well if I want to. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'm also going to go back to where the formulas are so when I save it down for you, you can see the formulas. Uh, and that's it for your first hack of the week. So my second hack of the week is a very simple one and it's double clicking the format painter. Uh, some of you already know about the format painter and it's just click it, click somewhere else uh, and it just copies all the formatting from that cell into the next cell that you click in. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is if you double click on the format painter you can actually keep going and select as many cells as you want to uh, without actually uh, without it taking off the format painter. Uh, and you can get out of this by pressing escape at the end. Uh, and that's it, it's very simple. Just select the cell you want, double click, and then just go crazy with your uh, selecting of where you want the format. Uh, thanks to uh, the Philander goal for this hack uh, as he submitted it in the comments. Uh, so thanks a lot, keep them coming. Uh, and that's it for your second hack of the week. Hello everybody and welcome to my third hack of the week. And this one has been submitted by Adam Gadoot. And uh, this is actually one of the favorite, favorite, my favorite ones I've seen in a while. I actually didn't know you could do this. Uh, and it's, it's a, I'm really excited about it. Uh, basically, what it is, is it's a bit of VBA code called application.visible and it works in conjunction with your user forms. So here I have a button that will open up a user form, but what you'll notice is that it's opened up my user form and closed down all of Excel. So I can actually just have the user form show into my user. Uh, and it kind of almost tricks them into thinking that you've created a whole application uh, without actually them even knowing it. Uh, and when I close it down, I've just set it so that it goes back up. Uh, if you're interested in the code, then the the button just opens up the user form, uh, and then in the user form code in the initialize event, I've got application dot visible equals false, and that just gets rid of the uh, the uh, Excel application instance in the background gives me just a user form. If I go into user form, I can still add buttons, I can add text boxes, I can add in whatever I want on there. So when I click my button, 
uh, it comes up with those buttons and those text fields, etc. Very important thing to remember is you'll notice in the code of my user form, I've got the deactivate and the terminate event. Uh, I've used both of these uh, and they both have the code to say application.visible equals true. Uh, and if you forget to do this, then your your uh, user's Excel versions aren't going to come back again. They're going to get very confused and very frustrated because they can't get their Excel to work. So just remember any error handling you put in needs to have this in uh, and always put in deactivate and terminate code in there. Uh, and that's it for our third hack of the week. Uh, thanks to everyone who's been submitting their hacks. They've been very useful. I haven't actually managed to put all of them in the videos. But keep them coming because I really enjoy learning new ones from you guys. Uh, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you want to download this workbook, then you can do it by clicking the link in the description to our website. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, and share on, on any social medias that you like to use. Uh, hope to catch you next week.